In this video, I'm showing you the best kept secrets of Adobe Spark, one of my favorite content creation tools for busy entrepreneurs. I'm uncovering the features you absolutely need to know about. Stay here, let's do it. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today I'm in Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm really excited for this video. I've partnered up with Adobe Spark for this one. In fact, I'm a very proud Adobe Spark ambassador, which means you'll spot me creating content from time to time, promoting and sharing love for this tool. It's one you should definitely consider adding to your toolkit if you haven't yet. Now, it's going to be easier for me to walk through these five features directly in the the app itself. Note that there's a mobile app and a desktop version in browser. The browser version is what I'm using today for the demo, so let's hop in and take a look together. Secret feature number one, libraries. Now, if you're an avid Spark user, you may have already known about libraries, but it's my goal with this video and this feature, including the ones coming up, that even if you know about it, it's not quite a secret, but you know how to use it to its full potential. So to get started, we simply click on the libraries icon in our navigation. And I consider this a secret feature of Adobe because it's fairly new, but incredibly seamless across all of the Adobe apps and services. Libraries is where you keep your go-to images, icons, logos, and other creative assets. As you can see here, I'm using them myself, and I'm sure that you also use other Adobe apps. So Creative Cloud Libraries is directly integrated into the Spark editor. I'll show you that in a moment. Think of libraries as a personal collection of assets that you can create and share with anyone so they're kept up to date, on hand, easy to use so that you and your team can quickly create consistent content. As I said, I'll go ahead here and click create library here. I'm just gonna call this example. We'll create this library, which takes just a moment. And this is where we would have shareable templates as well as assets. Images, icons, logos, you get the picture. Now, if I go back, I wanna show you the unique areas here. You've got your own libraries, some of these created in other Adobe accounts that I use, like Adobe Stock right here and here, as well libraries shared with you. By the way, I've got some amazing templates that I'm gonna link you to in the description below created by other Adobe ambassadors. So that's in the description of this video. You're gonna to wanna to check that out. Finally, public libraries. These are also awesome and inspirational public libraries created by lots of talented artists. We'll click here to view them all. Here you can get creative. You copy a library and then you can access the templates and the assets within the app. Colors, graphics, and more. The last thing to show you, and I've opened up one of my example designs here, is how to access the libraries within your design. So from the post editor, you would select libraries from the image picker list. So go ahead and click an image that I might change. If I was to go ahead and click replace here, it will give me access to my libraries and I can go ahead and add those assets. And moving right along to secret feature number two, that's gonna be shared brands. I'm going to go ahead and click brands from the navigation here. Now in Adobe Spark, this is so exciting. It's one of the newer features. You can share your brand with your team so that everyone can easily create from the same logo, fonts, and colors. You know me as a branding person. I especially appreciate how easy they make this. Now, if someone shares a brand with you, that would be here. But since I'm the creator of my own brand and the owner, it shows it under my brands, okay? But if someone was to share it with you, this is exactly where it would appear. Since I'm the owner, I'm gonna go ahead and click my brand. So we're gonna open up my brand together and look how well designed and organized this is. We have my logos available from selection here, my colors, my fonts, as well, I love how easy they make it to have one tap brand guidelines so that you never really have to worry about like outdated logos, something off color, wrong fonts, right here, branded surfaces. So you can personalize how the logo and tagline are displayed. This makes it so much easier for your team to stay on brand. This is definitely one of my very favorite features, not just creating a brand, but being able to share a brand within Adobe Spark. 
Let's keep moving along. Adobe Spark secret feature number three. This is collaboration. Now I know that doesn't sound exciting, but when I show you how easy it is to use in Adobe Spark, I think you will find it exciting. Let's go ahead and look at one of my projects. As an example, I'll open the one that I opened earlier and show you how easy it is to collaborate on one graphic or canvas with someone else. So on the Adobe Spark web app, which is what I'm using right now, I would go ahead and click invite this icon up in the top corner. Here, I can add in my collaborator's email, and then I can even add a custom message. So I'm actually gonna send this to a second email address of myself just to show you this example. Here I could say, check out this new design I'd love your help with. And right there, I can go ahead and send that invite to edit this. I'll show you how that arrives in my inbox in a moment. Here's a pro tip. Don't forget to add a useful project title here that will mean something to your recipient. In this case, I'm using my photo title template, so that's how I've named it. And let me now show you how it looks when you send this invite to someone. Right from my inbox, I can see the title of the project, as well as the custom message, and the ability to click here in open Spark and start collaborating from that user's account. When we're back here on Spark, if you ever need to manage those invites, you can go ahead and click this icon up here and you can remove it and manage it directly from here. I've got two more secret features for you in Adobe Spark, and this fourth one, well, okay, fine. It's definitely not a secret if you've spent any amount of time in Adobe Spark, but I think that well-designed templates, that's secret item number four, I think this is the very best feature of Adobe Spark. Let's explore all of the templates. I believe that the templates here in Spark are better than any other web-based graphic design program. You can find just about anything you could ever need in here, and plus, everything is so well curated and designed, the perfect starting point for you to get started on whatever design you might need. Some examples. Thank you cards, announcement posts, social media stories, end cards for YouTube videos. So, so many great designs here. You can jump in here and have a look. Again, for me, this has been the very best feature on Spark, and it's really cut down on my design time. So be sure to check out the very well-designed templates. And finally, we've arrived on our last, the fifth secret feature of Adobe Spark. This one is definitely secret, but I wanna make sure you know it's there. This is the ability to organize your workflow, your creative space, however you wanna call how you use Adobe Spark, the ability to organize all your stuff. So let's talk about this. For example, when you do what I suggested earlier, name your project in a descriptive way, you can type up here, view over 46,000 Spark templates as well as your own templates. So if I go ahead and click YouTube thumbnail, I can press enter and it's gonna allow me to search the templates. It's gonna allow me to search the templates that exist for this. And if I go back to projects, I can search my own projects. There you go. Here's what I also love. I'll click view all projects. From here, I can organize my projects into folders by say campaign, client, a season, or maybe a product. In this case, I created recently some awesome shared templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder. Folders and subfolders help you stay organized. I can easily select multiple projects here that I might wanna drag into that folder. I'm gonna do that now just to show you. So I've selected a few of my shared templates. I'll click and drag and voila, those templates are here to be used or shared. I can also click here on the Recents tab in the Projects view to see a list of all the projects that I've created as well as a project shared with me and sort them by most recently opened. And finally, I'll click here on the Shared with You tab. This would isolate projects that have been shared with me. In this case, I don't have any, but if I did, this is exactly where they'd be. So that's secret feature number five, organization. So there you go, my top five secret features of Adobe Spark. Okay, fine. 
Maybe not all of them were secret. Maybe you've used some of these before, but I hope that this video serves to highlight to you what I consider to be the most important and useful features that this app has to offer. I'm linking to Adobe Spark below. Go ahead and check it out for yourself. And if you've got any other lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work very hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, position building and promoting your brands. Finally, a huge thanks to Adobe for having me as part of their Adobe Ambassador program. I'm a very proud Spark Ambassador indeed. Next, I'm sharing through a few videos that I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Pound. Thanks for watching and those videos are coming up next.